Hi, I am Thibaut Groex and I am presenting at LastNet, a paper on 3 shape generation using a papier-mâché approach. It is joint work between Adobe Research with Vova Kim, Matthew Fisher and Brian Russell and the Imagine team to which my PhD advisor Matthew Aubrey and I belong. Recent work on image generation have shown impressive results in many tasks. One of the reasons for this is that it's now obvious how to represent 2D content. There are 2D regular grids of pixels. For this particular type of structure, convolutions have proven to be a powerful kind of learnable filters. We try to achieve similar results, but in 3D. The first challenge in 3D is to find an appropriate representation for the data. Voxels are popular, they extend 2D regular grids to 3D, but they are typically memory intensive. Another approach is to sample points on the surface of the 3D shape and work with an unordered list of 3D points. Point Set Gen, a work from a Stanford group, introduced such a network last year. Obviously, there are lots of other approaches such as SurfNet, but wouldn't it be great if we could directly generate a mesh? In fact, that's our goal, to generate a set of 3D points and the connectivity between those points, the definition of a mesh. From an input object on the left, we use existing methods to extract a latent vector and try to design a decoder to generate a polygonal mesh on the right. The latent vector can be extracted from an image with a ResNet encoder or from a point cloud with a PointNet encoder, for example. But we don't really care how we, do, how we obtain this latent vector. We focus on the decoder, that is to say, how to recreate 3D content in the form of a point cloud from the latent vector. Now let's try this on an arbitrary shape, me. We build on point set gen and its point cloud representation. In its simplest form, the latent vector is fed to a multi-layer perceptron that outputs a fixed number of 3D points scattered in 3D on me. It is optimized by minimizing a distance with the ground truth points, such as chamfer or earth mover's distance. The chamfer distance is a nearest neighbor based loss. It is differentiable almost everywhere, and it says something like, for every generated point, find the closest ground truth points and move towards it, and for every ground truth point, find the closest generating points and attract it. At the end of the optimization, the generated point cloud aligns with the ground truth point cloud. This works really well, but there is a fundamental issue uh, with this way of generated point clouds, which is the fact that the generated points do not belong to an implicit surface. This comes from the fact that in the last layer of an MLP, the neurons are not correlated and there is no surface constraints on the generated points. We observe that and build on this great work by adding in the decoder architecture the prior that all points should belong to a surface. And the simplest way to make sure that we generate a surface is to deform one. To achieve this, we will learn a function that implicitly deforms a surface in a very simple way. So, in addition to the latent shape representation, our MLP takes as input the coordinates of a single 2D point sampled from a 2D patch in R2 and outputs the 3D coordinates of a single point. And there, we're mostly done. That's because an MLP is a continuous function, so it transforms the continuous input domain into another continuous domain, a deformed surface, while preserving manifold properties. Indeed, as we repeat this process for other 2D points in the patch, all the generated 3D points belong to an implicit surface. Furthermore, if we define a connectivity between samples in the patch, such as the triangulation of the points, it can naturally be propagated to the 3D generated points and aligns with the generated surface. This type of decoder generates a mesh without further post-processing. 
Interestingly, at inference time, by sampling the 2D patch more or less densely, we can generate as many points as we want. However, with this approach, reconstructing objects with complex topology such as me in this position is hard with a single deformed patch. To solve this issue, instead of learning a single deformation, we learn a deformation to cover the generated object. And this works much better in practice. This actually goes back to the topological definition of a surface as being everywhere similar to a 2D patch. It's homeomorphic to R2. We show in the paper that in fact, the representation we learn is similar to an atlas. This is our final setup. We show that this simple representation leads to better shape generation, improved generalization, and several free applications. Such as single view reconstruction here. From, an, from a single image, from left to right, we compare with voxels, octrees, and point cloud methods. Our result on the right outputs a surface representation. In the paper, we show many quantitative comparisons, as well as experiments on surface reconstruction given an input 3D point cloud. Obtaining an atlas is also useful for many applications. For example, Atlases are natural texture coordinates and can be optimized by existing methods to apply new textures on 3D objects. We observed that each patch naturally specializes in a part of the object. We explored this idea further in a follow-up paper and obtained state-of-the-art results on human correspondences. The code is available. Thank you for your attention.